Welcome friends, in this video we're going to be learning how to rotate a cube in perspective. Now this is going to be building off a couple other videos that I had made, so I'll link those in the description for reference. I will also add the video link in the cards if you need more in-depth information on each step. In this video we're going to do this in five steps. First we're going to be drawing our grid, then we'll be measuring out our perfect cube on the two perspective grid. And then we will draw a new grid at a different angle. Then we will scale the size of the new cube. And then lastly, we are going to be constructing a new cube on the rotated new grid. So let's go ahead and get started. What I'm gonna be using is Procreate on the iPad, and we will start by creating our first two perspective grid. I'll draw a line here, hold and tap, and this will create a horizon line. And then somewhere in the middle, I'm going to draw a station point here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start a new layer and I'm gonna do a new color as well. I'm going to create a 45 degree, or sorry, a 90 degree angle and then a 45 degree angle in between. So all these steps that I'm doing right now is the constructing a grid, a two perspective grid. So now I have that, I'm gonna select all of this and rotate it. And I'm gonna have the cube facing this direction. And then when we go to rotate it, I'll have it facing the other direction. So let's go ahead and do that. Not gonna make it too extreme. So this, this I'm gonna actually adjust the station point here. Uh, let's see here, okay. So let's come back here, adjust my station point, and have it come right there so it won't be too extreme. And now we can come back here. Actually, I'll start a new layer, and I'll go ahead and mark these three points. So this, this mark right here will be our left vanishing point, this will be our 45 degree vanishing point, and this will be our right vanishing point. All right, now that we have that, I will go ahead and hide that triangle and I'll create another layer. And I'll start by drawing some vanishing points here to construct our cube. So on the left hand side, I'll create two vanishing points and I can make these at any height. This is essentially going to be one construction of our cube and then I'll make one from the right over to the left. All right, so we have three sides of our cube we know this is the depth that we want to make it. Now we have to find out the width uh, that we're going to make it. So we're going to keep building on this to create a grid. I'm going to create a new layer and use a new color. Come from this 45 degree vanishing point down here toward the center and then also to the right here. Come back to this layer. And if, if you miss any of these steps, I go into more depth on those videos. So be sure to check those out if there's if you're missing anything here. All right, so now we can keep uh, constructing our grid. So these where these intersect here will be the next line. The next line over here from the left vanishing point will be here and we just use the stair stepping method going from left to right vanishing points until we get to oh this is good enough i'm just going to do a three by three grid okay so there's the first two perspective grid with our square now what we're going to do is we need to find the cube height so i will bring back our measuring here all right i'm going to take the length of this right part of the right triangle select it through the finger swipe and duplicate and now i can rotate it and move it along the horizon there i am going to switch colors here let's do this middle triangle so what i need to do to find the height is i need to create a line at the bottom there I need to go from this line to the right edge down to 
this vertical or horizontal line. Now I can, this is the length of our height, or this is the height of our cube, so I'm gonna highlight that, select it, three finger swipe down and duplicate, and now I can rotate it to 90 degrees and move it right on top of our cube there. Then I will create a new layer, change the color so you can see it better, and I'm gonna start tracing. So now I have my height. All right, now I can hide some of these other colors. All right, let's start uh, building in our cube. So I'll go from this vanishing point to the height of a cube, this vanishing point to the bottom of our cube, the left vanishing point to the top, left point, vanishing point to the bottom. Now we can do the left side of the cube, do a vertical line there, right side of the cube, vertical line there. Then I can go connect these vanishing points, connect these vanishing points, and connect these vanishing points, and this vanishing point. All right, so I'll hide this real quick, this grid here, and now we have our perfect cube. So that's step two. Step three is we're now going to construct a new grid in a new uh, plane or a new direction. So we'll do the same steps as we did on the first step. So one way to do that is draw an ellipse right here in the square. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll do a new layer and a new color. And in Procreate, I can touch right there on the bottom and it will create an ellipse for me. All right, now that I have that, I can go ahead and hide this one and now we can create our new vanishing point. So I'm gonna, so this one was facing this direction. I'm to the left, I'm gonna face the vanishing points of the new one to the right. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll do that by a new layer and I'll do the same method. So I'll create a 90 degree and a 45 degree and select it and then rotate it. So we only thing we need to make sure is that this 45 degree angle where all these three converge, it needs to be on the same uh, point. All right, something about like that. So now that we have that, we can mark those lines. So left vanishing point, 45 degree vanishing point, right vanishing point. All right, so now we have that, we can begin constructing, I'll hide that triangle, part of a triangle. And now we can begin constructing our new grid. So let's pick out a new color. And I'll go from left vanishing point to the left side of the ellipse and to the right side of the ellipse. And then right vanishing point down to that bottom of the ellipse. And then this one to the top. All right, now we have our square. Let's go ahead and do one more layer, another color. We'll go a similar method. We'll go from the 45 degree vanishing point to the bottom here and to the right. And now we can begin constructing the remainder of our grid. So I'll come back to our grid and our color. Left vanishing point to that cross section, right vanishing point to the cross section left vanishing point. All right, uh, we'll do one more. All right, so now we have our new grid. We can go ahead and hide those layers there. So there's our new grid. Let's compare it to the other grid. And you can kind of see that they're in different directions. So what we can do now is we can now, let me go ahead and turn the opacity down so we can kind of see that. We can now begin drawing in perspective or we can scale. And this is the next step that I also have in another video. This is kind of a combination of things, as you can tell. So let's go ahead and pick out a new color and a 
a new layer. It's going to be about 12 or 13 layers to do this. So we're on the we're going to take the height of the right hand side of the cube and we're going to build it on, let's say this square here. So if we take the bottom of this one and go to the bottom of this one up to the horizon line, about there. And then we come back from the horizon line to the top of the right hand cube. That's going to be the height of the right hand side of this cube. So if I come up here, there is the height of a right hand side of the cube. Now I can go ahead and get rid of the cube there and we can begin constructing our new cube with the construction line. So back to, let's see, well, new layer. All right, so I have my two vanishing points here. So I'm gonna go from the right hand vanishing point down to the bottom of the cube and then I'll do the right hand vanishing point. We'll go to the top of the cube and then I'll construct the corner of the cube. Now we can go to the left hand vanishing point to the top of the cube, to the bottom of the cube. Here is the left hand side of the cube. And if I'm tapping and hold, I get those vertical I get the vertical lengths here. All right, now we can do this side of the cube and this side of the cube or the top. We can do the bottom and the back of the bottom. Hide the other layers. We can hide this one and this one and this one and let's go ahead and show the other cube. So here is the two different cubes rotated in two point perspective. So this one is facing this to the left of the viewer and the blue one is facing to the right of the viewer. Now it's going to be a little bit smaller because it is further back in perspective, but hopefully you get the idea there. And one other thing I'm going to do, probably just to make this look a little bit better, is I'll erase the vanishing points or the construction lines, and we'll have our two cubes. All right, thank you for watching as always. Uh, please leave any comments, questions, or even suggestions. I'm continuing on more videos in my series of perspective. Essentially, my goal is to create better figures by doing shapes in one and two and three point perspective. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on those. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. So long.